morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is actually a pretty neat little Quadcopter. This is the JJ Pro T1. Now, what is the T1? Well, you know, a lot of people will, this year seems to be <laughs> a lot of these little uh, micro quadcopters with FPV systems have been coming out. Like, uh, people have been modifying little micro quadcopters like the Tiny Whoop to include FPV. This one already has it inside. On top of that, it actually has a NAS32 board incorporated so that you can actually modify the settings uh, of your of the flight control board to adjust um, just to fly as you like. Um, with that also in mind, this NACE32 board also has a DSM2 receiver built into it. So, you know, if you have a uh, Spectrum capable radio, a Spectrum radio, or even these Wakiras, uh, most of the Wakiras can actually be modified through a simple software upgrade through the, its, their USB ports to be DSM2 capable. Um, it's actually not too hard to do. <laughs> If you do have a Wakir uh, brand transmitter, I actually recommend considering doing that because that opens up other uh, quadcopters that you can fly with other than the Wakir that, that your transmitter came with. But anyways, yeah, it's DSM-2, DSM-capable uh, 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 receiver on this, um, capable of being modified via the USB port in the back of the uh, receiver. Um, other than that, it's just a little micro quadcopter with FPV. So let's go for a flight of the JJ Pro T1 and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Three, two, one. Okay, we're ready to go. Here we go. Now, with this transmitter, I would expect much greater range than, say, with a... Uh, a uh, toy grade transmitter on this little tiny little quadcopter. Now I'm seeing some blanking out here while I'm recording. You know, um, this is supposed to have white noise, but I'm not seeing that. You know, when you have weird angles on this, it's actually blanking out quite a bit. Oops. So I'm flying it around. Um, I'm not talking about the quadcopter itself. The quadcopter's flying great. I'm talking about the goggles that I'm using. <laughs> I'm seeing a little bit of blank out here. But let's, let's, let's speed it up and give it a little more forward pitch. Take it across the field here. Oh my goodness, I'm seeing a lot of blank out. Let's go over in this area here. I'm seeing lots of blank in that. Um, the goggles that I'm wearing are the Isheen uh, VR D2 goggles, or D8 goggles, I forgot, D2 goggles. And uh, they are kind of annoying. <laughs> but the quadcopter is flying good. This is with this Devo transmitter. Let's see if I can get it to go between the trees here. To the left. Was I crash it into the trees? Okay, flying around to the left. So yeah, this little thing's probably a lot of fun. You could fly this indoors, I'm sure, without any problems. This, this would be a great indoor uh, flyer this winter. And it even flies outdoors, as you can see here. And again, it's adjustable via this NACE32 board if you want to adjust it. Uh, I'm flying in angle mode. It flies in horizon mode. It flies in acro mode if you want to. Those are all available with this. Um, this is with all NACE32 controlled flight or quadcopters. Um, I prefer to fly angle mode since it's the first flight here. I mean, I'm enjoying it. Let's see if I can come back through here again. I'm getting the hang of it now. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of surprised by this the goggles here. It's not supposed to be blanking out. And you, you're probably seeing that in the recording here. But I'm going to fly it until we lose the battery power. Mm. <laughs> Fun little. This is actually a lot of fun, this little uh, micro. JJ Pro T1. Give it some pitch here and get it going. Well, it's a micro. It's only going to go so fast. <laughs> Well, 
soil. Still going strong. You know, a lot of these uh, micros, you, you apply, uh, they don't fly very long. Boy, I'm starting to lose battery, or lose vision here, so that means its battery's probably getting weak. I better try to get, there we go. That's it. That's the flight time you get with this. Let me stop the video. And I'm gonna take the hat back from my wife here. And where'd it go, my love? <laughs> Over where? Let's go straight. Straight ahead. Come with me and help me. <laughs> it landed out in this field somewhere. I see it. Okay, thanks, son. So that's the JJ Pro T1. <laughs> Good thing for those orange props. Um, yeah, it's, it's a nice little micro that you can fly indoors or outdoors. Um, it's carbon fiber, NACE32 controller, adjustable, um, reasonably good uh, video. Um, the receiver on my, I was using that Ishin uh, VRD2 receiver. It wasn't supposed to be doing what, what it was doing there. Uh, probably got a lot of blanking out there in the video. We'll, we'll see in post-production. But the quadcopter itself was flying great. Uh, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Let me get a thumbnail with this. Signing out.